Happy Sunday. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Welcome to a brand new I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. This past Friday, as we all know, EA dropped the brand new Shapeshifter promo. Uh, it was actually kind of a little bit of a surprise. They just dropped a green loading screen and then added on to it to let us know it was the Shapeshifter promo pretty much the night before uh like i said very surprising usually they build it up for a couple of days but they just decided to do this one out of the blue and fair enough i think it's a great idea for a promo uh i just wanted to quickly touch upon one thing i think would be an amazing suggestion is that ea didn't reuse players that already have really good sbcs for example renato sanchez atal to name a couple david luis had a flashback card marcelo had his left back card uh these cards had a load of it like value in their SBC cards and it's almost deeming those cards useless now because it's got a better version on the market uh it would be sick if EA could actually go towards newer players as opposed to the ones that already have cards that's just my take on it apart from that I think giving players brand new position and stuff is a really cool idea and I like how EA are doing it um we're gonna start straight away with Daniel's team he said hi Haber Nesta Carlos Sanchez Politano Orsic Barella and the bench are untradeable I have 300,000 coins any suggestions that keep it up man thank you very much okay so, you are looking for, what are you looking for here? You're looking for, uh, obviously, suggestions, uh, and you've got about 300,000 coins. Now, is what's Borella like as a CDM? I just want to have a quick look at this card. Um, I never completed this SBC. I had his ones to watch for pretty much most of the year until the ones to watch SBC came out as well. Uh, but I just never, never thought to complete it. He's got great stats, actually. 85 defending. Uh, wow, it's actually a really good CDM card. What I would say, I think Griezmann's a massive weak link in your team, for sure. I think he is definitely weak. Uh, with 300,000 coins plus the, the sale of Griezmann, so let's say 350k. Um, you're going to struggle to get in an icon. I'm just thinking who would be a suitable replacement for Griezmann that would get chemistry. I'm not entirely sure there's a whole lot of players. You might have to play somebody off chemistry uh, in Griezmann's spot. Now, if we have a quick look at... Uh, La Liga, let's say striker center forwards first, and then we'll go to uh, cams next. Um, what do you have in terms of options? You have, I mean, Iago Aspas doesn't have the, the uh, most amazing passing stat. Uh, 87 is actually pretty good. This card would be a decent cam for sure. Uh, good stats. Three star, three stars, a little bit of a letdown. Um, but he's still got decent stats as a, as a, as a cam, I feel like. Um, who else could you potentially use here? Hmm, there's not, an, there's not a whole host of amazing options. That's the only difficult thing. It's why I urge people not to go La Liga for their sort of attack is because there really isn't great options in La Liga. Um, in terms of, of Cam Senimids, I mean, James Rodriguez has a pretty decent card. The only thing about James Rod Rod Rodriguez's card, I can't even speak properly. It's one of those cards that has great base uh, card stats, but has in-game a few stats that are kind of questionable. 77 balance is not great, but can be improved with chem style. 78 sprint speed is not great, but can be improved with a chem style. Uh, the rest of his card looks pretty decent, though, um, and would be a pretty decent cam. Uh, add on maybe an engine. I think it becomes a 91 rated cam. It'd be a pretty decent adjustment to this squad. And he would get a full chemistry as well. So there you go. I'd say get James Rodriguez for this squad. Uh, it's a decent, decent team. Next one coming from Vibex, who says, Hey, Haber. Uh, all special cards except to Stegen and Sancho are untradeable. Second pick is in game. Uh, and third pick is what I could choose to go for in the future. Currently sitting at 50,000 coins, but I'm willing to sacrifice some, some, some stuff in my club. Uh, also could get Van der Sar from swaps. Let's check it out. Okay, so you're saying here that Sancho and Testegen are tradable in this setup. Well, first things first, I would get normal Testegen and sell your, your special one. Let me just double check here. It says all special cards uh, except Testegen and Sancho. Yeah, so I would sell Testegen, free up a few coins, get the normal one. The normal one's just as... Like, I don't understand the obsession with getting a special version of Testegen just for the sake of getting a special card. In my opinion, the normal card is better than every version of his special card I've ever used. Um, obviously, it's kind of personal preference, but you don't need special goalkeepers. And anyone in the comments or anywhere else that tells you otherwise, they clearly don't understand FIFA to a degree where they don't realize that special goalkeepers don't make a huge difference, in my opinion. Um, looking at the rest of this team, I would swap Dan James and Sancho. I think Sancho would be a better striker and Dan James a better right mid. Uh, and now you've got 50,000 coins. I would upgrade 
your um your Delaney here. Is this a team you're looking to build? Um that pick is what I could choose to go for in the future. Hmm. I like this. I like this little the little bottom part here. Getting the Jesus, getting the smalling, getting the Katara, and that is a, that's a good uh that's a good idea. Get yourself special on Basaka at right back as well. Swap over the two centre backs to the left foot is on the left and the right foot is on the right. Uh in terms of a cam here. It's going to be a difficult one. Uh, I think Sabitz is going to be off chemistry regardless of who you go for her, to be honest. Because uh, I don't think there's any really good Leipzig cams. Um, apart from, I'm pretty sure, is Kane's from Leipzig? I'm not entirely sure. Let me have a quick look. No, he's not. But he did just come out. Uh, this card would get the Austrian link. This card wouldn't get full chem, but would be a decent card. Uh, put something like a Hawk on, maybe. Uh, gets an 88 rated cam. Would have decent stats, so he could be an option if you go for this this setup in the future. Is your left cam spot? Like I said, doesn't get a full cam. Oh no, he does get a full cam. So I didn't I didn't know he sat this side was with Bundesliga until just then. I was I was so oblivious. Yeah, Keynes would be a good option here. Although I don't understand where your defense. Yeah, where is your defensive minor midfielders here? Um, all you have is attacking minor midfielders. So maybe getting a defensive minded one wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Hmm. A version of Goretzka wouldn't be bad. We'd get full chemistry. Um, just to name one. There's a few different options you can go for here, for sure. Um, yeah, I like I like this setup. With this one, I would say if you're going to stick with this one, like I said, swap Sancho and Dan James. Get yourself somebody instead of Delaney. Uh, maybe get yourself a special version of Delaney. And then get yourself normal to Stegen. Sell the special version. And uh, Bob is your uncle there. Uh, next one coming from Unknown, who says, I've got 300,000 coins. Everyone isn't tradable except for Mendy on the bench. I'm thinking about getting the new Acuna. Uh, what would you suggest? Hmm, let's have a look. So, that's what you're working with now. I respect that you've got the uh, you've got the league objectives player. Um, this is what you're playing in games. It's not bad, to be fair. It's a pretty decent team in game. Uh, and this is what you're thinking of going with if... So I'm just taking my socks off. I'm really hot. Um, this is what you think of thinking of going with in the near future. Huh. Would I prefer this setup and this in-game or going with this? I mean, both are really nice. Don't get me wrong. And I think this Acuna card is probably a little bit better than the League SBC Belgian lad. Um... You can still go with Nabry on the right if you want to in this setup as well. Uh, so I would maybe give this a go because it's not going to cost you anything to give this a go. And if it's not working, go back to this maybe. Um, you know, that's what I would say. That that That's the advice I would give. Uh, and also, I mean, like, you know, you could you could probably fiddle with a few things here and get full chemistry. Um, you know, get Werner over here. Um, get Nabry over Dan James and then maybe play a Cunha off chem. Uh, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. But no, I think that's a good setup for sure. Uh, the next one comes from Shorty who says, 80,000 coins need a striker. Tradables are Laporte, Robo, Cancela and love the vids. Thank you very much, man. Uh, let's check it out. You've got 80,000 coins need a striker. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure, didn't Dembele recently get a special card? I might be wrong here. Uh, yeah, Future Stars Dembele. Uh, this card, oh, it's 90k. Are you on Xbox? You are on Xbox. So it's 89,000 coins on Xbox. I would go with this card and give it a go, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd go for this. Give give that card a go if you can afford it. You know, 9,000 coins is not difficult to acquire. Uh, I would go for that card if I were you. Uh, but no, nice team. I like the team. Next one coming from Noah, who says, I've got 400,000 coins to spend. The untradables are Mane, Zanetti, and Hierro. Going to grind for this team. Have a look. Ooh, okay. All right, I like that a lot, actually. Don't like the 4-2-4. I don't know if you plan on playing that in game or not, but I'm really not a fan of that formation. One thing I found with the 4-2-4 is it just leaves these gaps between your sort of right back and right wing and your right centre mid and your left back, left wing, left centre mid. Massive gaps in the midfield, massive gaps in behind, and it's just, it leaves intrusion spots in what I like to call them. What I would say is get this and then play a 4-2-3-1. It's more compact, it's more defensive, and it just seems like it's harder to break down, in my opinion. Um, you know, play Son as your central cam, a bamming up top, and then your wide cams as Mane and Salah, I think, would be a great shout. It's a nice team. Uh, with 400,000 coins to spend, I would upgrade your Robertson over at left-back to a better version of him, maybe. Um, and then just work on upgrading the individual players to better versions of themselves, basically. Uh, and aside from that, I think the team is very, very good. 
Uh, the next one coming from Wolfboy. I've got 600k for upgrades and I don't mind saving up more coins. The tradables are Kane, Kante and Kappa. The rest is untradable and the second photo is in game. Love the vids, keep it up. Thank you very much, man. Let's check it out. Okay. Huh. Hmm. All right. Okay. So the tradables are Kane, Kante and Kappa. How much is this Harry Kane card currently selling for? Because I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's 92,000 coins and you currently have... How many? How much is it? About 600k. All right. I know what you're going to do. Straight sure, away. I know exactly what you're going to do here. Uh, and it's not going to affect your chemistry negatively at all. Here's the plan. You're going to swap Kane and Osserman. Then you're going to swap uh, Kane and uh, Vieira. So Kane is your right cam. Then you're going to put... Uh, what's his face? Actually, no, you're not going to do that. Ignore that. Just swap Kane and Osherman, and then swap Kane for Ikone, and Ikone is going to be your central cam. So, Future Stars, Ikone, central cam, uh, Osherman up top. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter with chemistry at all, to be honest here, because uh, Osherman isn't going to get full chemistry, unfortunately, even if you fiddle around with everyone, because uh, you don't have strong links on the left-back and right-back spots. Uh, then what I would do is probably work to upgrade that Nesta with the remaining 400-ish K that you've got. Um... Looking at who you can go with, you can go with Raphael Varane and play Kieran Tierney off chem. And I don't think that would be a negative thing at all, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I'd say I'd say go with that then, to be honest, because because the rest of the team's good. But Harry Kane's terrible. He's going to lose you games, whereas Akone is a really solid meta player. Um, same with Nesta. I think Nesta's just too sluggish and slow and old. Uh, and you also could just swap Hierro and Varane and play Kieran Tierney on full chemistry there as well. I noticed before you all comment it, all right? I did notice. Um, so that could be a good option too. Uh, moving on now, we could go with James's team who says 4 2 3 1 narrowing game is what I play. Only got 50k. Keep the vids up. Thank you very much. Okay. You only got 50k. You ain't upgrading anyone of this team straight away. Uh, who would I aim to upgrade? First things first, you're going to upgrade that Robertson. Then you're going to upgrade that Fabinho. Then you're going to go with Telemans. Then you're going to go with probably. A Bamiang, and then you know, work your way from there to be honest. Uh, the team's good, but definitely needs massive improvement. I'd say, uh, I'm not going to give you uh, s specific plays to upgrade to, I would say, just sort of figure out your play style and then upgrade based on that to be honest. Uh, but the rest of the team's nice. I like how you got the Van Dyke and you got Shaw working together really well. Adama's always a beast. Uh, the rest of the team, you know, is getting there, it just needs a bit of improvement, really, mate. Uh, going next with Mateo's team, who says I've got uh, 250k, and I almost said 500k in tradable for some reason, I don't know why. i feeling a bit dizzy today, and I don't know where my water is either. I need to quickly take a water break. Back in one sec. Not entirely sure what's up with me in the minute, just uh, been getting these weird spells of feeling super dizzy. Uh, anyway, we've got Mateo Paps' team. I've got 250k. Untradables are Icons, James, Sterling, and Alwa. Love the vids, keep the good work. Watching from Canada, hey. Thank you very much, bro. Canada is somewhere I'd love to visit. That's one place I would really, really want to visit one day. Let's check it out. So, I like the layout. Hmm. What would I do to improve this team? I personally do not rate Sterling in this game at all. Uh, you know, other people do. Personally don't. I would say, wait, let me double check how many coins. You've got 250k. Is this card really massively inflated still? It is indeed. What you could do, uh, and what could be a good option here, um, and I'll talk you through it now, because uh, there's a few different options you can go with here. In terms of Premier League left mids and left wings, though, here's a problem. Apart from Sane, Mane, and literally Sterling, unless you want to overpay from Martinelli, who I don't think is worth 400k, uh, you could save up to get yourself Callum Hudson and Doy. This wouldn't be a bad option at all. Uh, he's only about. 50k away 60k away uh this wouldn't be a bad option but again i feel like one thing you could do is you could go with a center forward at left forward off chemistry uh and someone i'd recommend straight away looking at this team someone i think would work pretty well on this team uh would be someone the likes of inform martial uh he would be a decent option in my opinion uh that's literally straight off the top of my head there's a, there's a bunch of different options you can go with uh lucas Moura as well uh his shapeshifter card off chem or Dan James off cam, probably Lucas Moore off cam over here for the uh, link with Son. Wouldn't be a bad shout as well, his new shapeshifter. But I think this would be one of your better options here in Callum hudson Adoy. Uh 300k for this card. He's got good agility and balance in game, good good pace, uh, good finishing. His composure lacks a little bit, but that's all right. You know, he's going to be playing as a left forward. It's not too bad. Or as a, you play a, yeah, you do play the same in game. Or I'm, I'm guessing you do. So he will be playing as a left forward. Um, he's got the skills. 
He's got all right weak foot. You know, three star is not horrendous. It's not as good as four star, but it's it's not terrible. Uh, I think it's definitely an option to go with or consider at least. That's what I would say. I'd say consider this option uh, amongst a load of others. Uh, obviously, you can just go through and filter all the left wings and left mids in the league and uh, and consider which ones you want to go with. Uh, Bernard's a pretty decent option as well, uh, to name a couple. Uh, them two, definitely. Um, you know, informed out of fair use, not the worst option for a cheap price as well. Just a couple of cool options, in my opinion. Uh, some that you can consider. Uh, but yeah, I would also say if you go and do that, you can then, if you want to get Callum Hudson Odoi on chemistry and you don't care about Alwar's chem, you can swap Kante and Blanc and get Callum Hudson Odoi on full chem and Alwar on eight. But I don't think it makes a huge difference, really. Uh, next one coming from <laughs> the same ones over and over. This one, unfortunately, I can't look at because it's going to be a really small image. Uh, and I literally, I'm, I feel too dizzy to look at it. I'll be honest with you. Um, next one from up the mags who says hi Saber. This is my team. I've got seventy thousand coins for improvements. The untradables are long late. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly interrupt that. I will come back to it in just a sec. For Steve and anyone else in the future, um, I'm just looking at all of the. Fair enough. Fully fully blind in one eye. Well, that's crazy, man. Uh, I'm sorry to hear it. Um, and uh, and and you know, best of luck. Hopefully. Before 2025 for a, a cure or something to, um, to to help you out. With this, what I'll say here, uh, if you get the team, I see you taking it on an iPhone, flip the iPhone, take it in landscape, and it should be HD for Twitter. If you get if you get the, the photo like this, if you flip it to landscape and screenshot like that, so it's full screen on the on the front of your phone, it should be HD for Twitter. If you screenshot it in portrait, it shouldn't be HD. Uh, but all the best, like I said, mate. I'm sorry to, to hear that you are blind in one eye. Back to Dylan's team. Uh, this is my team. I have 70,000 coins for improvements. The untradables are long lace tomato and the SBC players. I play second in game uh, and keep, the great work, keep up the great work. I can't even speak today. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate that. So... You play this in game, and this is how you start. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. Still using normal Eder Militao. I put out a tweet. I just wanted to quickly address them as well. Uh, a lot of you guys were giving me uh, a lot of stick in the comments, and a lot of stick when I say uh, for recommending Lucas Mora as a cam. I tweeted out asking you guys who you think the best cam for under 100,000 coins is in the Prem, and you all said Lucas Mora. If you don't agree with what I say, that is totally fine. I just want to say... People are becoming very hateful in the comments of these videos sometimes. You don't like it. You don't want to watch it. That's fair enough. But don't have arguments with people in my comment section because you disagree with my, my recommendations. You don't have to watch the episodes if you, if you personally don't agree with what I say. Uh, the reason why a lot of people do it is because I feel like they agree with what I say and we, we're all on the same wavelength. In terms of Premier League cams, before at least the Shapeshifter promo, there was barely any. There was literally a very small pool of players, which is why I recommended the same sort of players. Because one thing that we've noticed in this game is there is a very few positions, or should I say, few players in certain positions. For example, there's, excuse me, I can't stop hiccuping now. At the start of the year, there was very few Premier League right wingers. Uh, there was very few Brazilian right wingers. Uh, very few Premier League cams. So it's hard to not recommend the same players that perform all the time in those kind of positions, you know? That's why I always recommend similar players like Verlin Mendy, because... You want a left back from the Liga and you don't want to pay 40,000 coins for Jordi Alba then for Mendy's 10k, you know, and he's a fantastic left back. So just wanted to quickly address that. Um, you know, let's let's all be nice to each other in the comments. That's all I'm trying to say, basically. Anyway, uh, I see you using normal Eder Militao and I wonder how he is for you. Looking at the team, I would say you've got a very attacking midfield and I don't think that's a good thing for a 4-1-2 on too narrow. Uh, what I would say is someone you want to look to upgrade here is Rene Adelaide. I would say Awa is a great option here. His new man of the match card that came out a couple of weeks ago would be a great option in the uh, in the midfield here, and he would prove pretty well as a right centre mid. Um, so I'd say upgrade Rene Adelaide to your Awa. I think you can afford him uh, with 70k. Pretty sure you can afford him with that. Uh, yeah, he's 14k for that. Oh, fair enough. Uh, I would say yeah, upgrade upgrade to Awa. Next team coming from Daniel who says uh, only got 10k at the minute. SBC cards and Anderson are untradeable. I'll play a 4-2-3-1 in game. Uh, what's to do next? Love the vids. Thank you very much, man. So I would say... Hmm. I mean, it's a nice team. I like the setup a lot, actually. Um, you've only got 10k, right? Yeah, so obviously you can't upgrade anyone today. I would say first place to upgrade would probably be Edison to Allison. I prefer Allison this, this year as, as opposed to Edison. 
Uh, I'd also say hmm, probably get a better striker than Bernardo Silva. Not a big fan of him. Um, I see what you're trying to do, but you don't have an out and out striker in these three. In 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 Firmino, Messi, and Anderson, none of them are an out out and out striker. So I would say re replace Bernardo Silva and look to bring in an out and out striker in the prem. I see you got Son on the bench. He'd probably be better to be honest. I'd probably go with Son over Bernardo Silva. Uh, but there are a few different options you can go with as, in terms of strikers from the prem. This is also a position that was lacking a lot at the start of the year and has been for for a long time. Um, you'll notice that you know there's not really a whole host of amazing strikers in the prem, and the ones that are are super expensive. For that exact reason, it's why Mason Greenwood's eight hundred k and Human Son's informs one point one million because there's no options realistically. Um, but what I would say is I would save up. I would potentially go with uh, maybe a better version of Son. Uh, you could also maybe, hmm, I mean, headline of Tammy Abraham's, uh, you ain't got his SBC card, have you? Never mind. I was going to say maybe go with him, but it was an SBC card. You could go with maybe Inform Martial. Don't think it'd be a terrible option. But like I said, there's not a whole lot of players here that are amazing options. That's a difficult part. So I would just say work, maybe improving it. Maybe, maybe you save up enough coins to get an Mbappe there for the French link. Wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, I'm going to end it off on Co7. I mean, sure, he's already been in the episode, so I, it doesn't matter if he gets seen there or not. I'm not sure he's going to be too disheartened. He's already been featured. I'm going to go with Co7s. Just make sure this is this is the... Wait. This isn't the same team. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to skip you, Jacob. I, for some reason, I, I thought they were the same team. Like I said, I've been feeling really dizzy today. I do apologize. We'll do this one and then Co7s. Um, so, this is Jacob's team. After this, I'll have 400,000 coins and Socrates from swaps. Uh, all untradeable except Do Doherty and Robertson. I'll play a 4-2-3-1 in game with Acuna and Rijkaard CDMs. Uh, Sane, Traore, wide cams. Uh, who, who shall I get for striker? And you'll have 400,000 coins. It's a good question. Uh, I'd definitely go with an icon, try and preserve chemistry. Um, in terms of icon strikers, I don't know how much Zola is these days, but I think he's a good option. Uh, and I know you guys say, oh, Ryan, you always recommend Zola. Zola, this, this card's got it all. It's 630k. Unfortunately, you cannot afford it. But in terms of like this card, just looks incredible. Tell me this card doesn't look incredible. And I think you're really silly. Uh, Michael Owen. <laughs> Sorry, Michael Owen might not be a bad shout if you're looking for someone that maybe has, you know, three star, three star. His prime is only about 87,000 coins more um, and has really nice in-game stats would be a decent option. Um, you know, you can go with the likes of maybe a Raul, um, although Raul as an out-and-out -out striker is maybe not the best option. I'd go with someone a little bit more pacey, um, which is why I'm, I'm looking at Michael Owen as a good option here. Uh, but there are a few different options. Like I said, I would maybe preserve going with an icon for chemistry purposes. Because uh, there aren't very many Liga Nos striker options right now until we get team of the season. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go with that. Or maybe just go with a Brazilian. You know, that might not be a terrible option as well. Um, and then we're going to go with Co7 squad. Whole team is untradeable except Aaron Mambasaka, Navas, Kera and Ericsson. I've got 150,000 coins open to any ideas. Love any content. Thank you very much, bro. Check it out. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Let's have a look. I mean, it's an interesting squad. Very interesting indeed. I, I don't really understand your play style here because this looks very different to how I would run a 4 one 2 narrow. However, I'm not going to knock it because, I mean, it's probably working for you. What I would just say here is maybe try and upgrade Oshiman. Let me double check how many coins you got. You got 150k. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long process for this one, but I would save up and, and replace Oshiman with Ronaldo, you know? Uh, it's going to take a little while to save up, but... I mean, I'm loving Ronaldo myself, and I think it, uh, Cristiano, that is obviously not R9. R9's, you know, no no chance of getting five mil coins anytime soon to get the middle one. Uh, so I would say go with Cristiano Ronaldo's, uh, you know, his normal card. I'm not entirely sure how much the card is right now. It shouldn't be more than a mil, I wouldn't think. Um, 791k. So you've got to save up 600k, basically. And it's going to take a while, but I think it will be rewarding in the end. It gets Ericsson full chemistry as well, and I think gives you more of a dynamic in the upfront here. You've got two players here. I mean, I know Oshman. I'm pretty sure Oshman's got four-star skills. I'm not actually 100% sure here. Uh, is it is it spelled Oshman or Osheiman? There he is. What's he got? Yeah, he's four star, four star, and uh, Werner's three star. So you've got five star, you'll have a five star skiller in the rank. Uh, you know, I know Oshman, you know, he's, he's, he's pacey, he's tall, he's strong, and it's pretty similar to how Ronaldo plays, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, hmm, 
I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna back my opinion as well. So if you disagree with it, you disagree with it. Uh, but that's what I would say for that one. Uh, and I feel like I spend way too much time trying to justify my opinions now. I'm so. I'm so like inadvertently worried about what the comments are going to say about my opinions when they're just my opinions. They shouldn't really spark any outbreak. But uh, but yeah, I need to like just make sure that I back my opinions these days. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate all the support you guys show on the episodes. You guys. You guys are just amazing. Uh, see all the lovely comments and things you guys sh share. You know, the people that are true, you know, supporters of the channel and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Um, and I just appreciate all the love and, and things like that, guys. I really appreciate everything you show me. So thank you all. Uh, and I'll see you guys uh, with another I Rate Your Teams on Wednesday. Wednesdays and Sundays when I drop them. Uh, and we'll have another video later on tonight in Squad Battle Rewards. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you lads later.